seas and lands for years, but like the engines and what my friend said, age is never ageless. He was very old and sometimes would f feel weak for walks. He felt sick when it was time for him to leave. One day, Duncan was doing his branch line when he saw Applebroom run out with shock. Your fence fallen off his fort and wooden one, Duncan. I'm just taking his body out. Let me take him, Nursie. Right, sweet, sweet about Scorton will give us a half quick. Right, Applebroom.
Herbert Legbert has died of poor age when he came to stay at the hotel. We must respect Duncan as we run the Dunking Fish Railway, Twilight said. But there's one thing, there's something he is worried about. He shall tell it to us. All right, then. A long time ago, Nightmare told me he had some enemies that were after the treasure. A lady named Little Girl, his mother, was after the treasure. She's still alive, and when she heard she made friends with me, she began to think her son gave me the secret. It's best that we look for something she's after. It's a book of when we were together. He came here to tell me to find the book so it can be given to any museum. Thank you, and that's the reason we should fend her off. I think we'd best stop work so Duncan can look for the book with the nurse and Scarn Lurvish help. We'll hide in the shed to wait, or in the cave to be safer. Good luck. Twilight and the friends of the other engines went to the cave to hide, leaving Duncan and his friends talking the plan. Legbeard told me his mother hates engines and she wants a scrat, which is a problem. She always gets over herself and sometimes becomes stupid and she never gets a job because the public work makes her sick, which is her problem. Nightbeard also told me when he went to school and was finished, he refused to come home. There's a reason why. He stole a family book and hid it in the school library. Then made up a book of us. He came to Tasman Fogor and his, and hid it in the branch railway. His mother would come to us if she sees us wandering to where Caroline first found it. There's a big attention like plan criminalize the Dunking Fish Railway. That's the biggest worry of mine. To stop her, we must find the book called The Pirate Befriended an Engine. You two must know too that Lettle is also an orphanage owner. She's known as a work dealer. She makes drunk things, which is an unlawful thing to do. And lastly, Lydia told me where she lives. She found an, he found an old house, but she lives in it to try and track him down. It's near the Dunnelly Hotel, so we must move carefully to the branch railway, with hope she may not know what we're looking for, my friend's book. Gosh, Duncan, this secret work is hard, but we can try. Yeah, we can't have Desmond Sogor being criminalized. The engine steamed off to find the branch railway.
In an abandoned house, the lady little Gok was waiting to find what engine her son befriended. My son has been up to no good since my family book was hidden in the library after what he's been through. He likes to live in a house and visit a school, but the orphanage is enough. He got away now to find an engine he befriended or have him scrapped for sure because of his existence. My life is poor. She was stupid, of course, because, well, she never got sex. In the seaside spot, Duncan Scarlett and a nurse came to the mine, to the branch railway. They could find it easily, and they had bushes to cover up the entrance. Do you think this will work for you, the lady? Yes, it will work, except we need to make no noise if she's near it. Come on. In they went, just in time to lose sight of Leto, who was looking for them. The treasures in the shed ground just between them. The books of treasure? Oh, well, it's put in a box, so its pages can't get ruined. There it is, on the X. Look at the condition, it's not ruined, thank goodness. Now we found it. How do we get rid of Lettle? If she finds us, she'll criminalize Tasman Sodor after she scraps us. I think. Remember the tale Caroline told us? She was on the run and you fetch and pong. Let's see if you can do the same with her. We can help. Yeah, just need to... I just need to be careful with her. She's also a monster. That's tall. The engines carefully went out. Lettle was still looking for the engines. She didn't know her son had died. And as I said, she was stupid. She didn't find the mine till the branch railway. Something is she saw something coming something coming through the bushes. Duncan was standing in front of her. You're that engine that my son befriended. That's right, Lettle. And you were wanting to get me scrapped. It won't happen. Tasman Sogor can't have you criminalizing it. And the books have been found from the rice. And your son has died. You didn't know because of your stupidness of not knowing well. Plus the orphanage was where you became a monster on him, not giving him a chance to get out. I don't think that story will be true. Give me your book and yourself. Duncan, we seen at the lady monster forming a hand. It grabbed her off the ground. The nurse and scar nerve came up and told did the same. 
after giving her some damage, she laid it on the ground. Well done, all of us. Now let's see what she has in the pockets. The crows had a look in the body's trousers. They found what they thought. A plan, man. We saved our home from a new criminal. Let's get a body from the graveyard. The safe for now. They met the other engines in twilight with the other ponies back at the shed. We stopped his mother twilight. How do we do the funeral? We shall then, Duncan. I'm glad you have some ways of stopping a new criminal. Life now goes on. Now Nettle was dead. But he still remembered his old friend, old Nightbeard, and the times they had together before they were not together when hard times would come. Thank you.